Several Republicans calling for a special committee to investigate any ties between President uh, Trump's campaign team and Russia. Now, this comes as the Justice Department tells lawmakers that he needs some more time to gather information about President Trump's claim that President Obama tapped his phones at Trump Tower. So let's bring in Jonathan Shanzer. He's the Vice President of Research at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies and a former terrorism analyst at the Treasury Department. Thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. So not a lot of agreement so far. They have managed to agree on the scope of the investigation. They've also agreed on a witness list, an initial list uh, for this public hearing, which will be held on Monday. But beyond that, is this investigation headed on a collision course? Well, look, I, I would say that there, there are some real questions right now about how the United States and Russia could possibly get along. Uh, I don't think there's any question at this point that the Russians have tried to meddle uh, in our political system, in our democratic process. But I think there is a question of what the Russians uh, expect to get out of, uh, out of their meddling. Uh, in other words, when you look at some of the staffing uh, that uh, the, uh, the president has brought into his national security team, uh, when you look at uh, the, the president's overall posture on Iran, where mm -hmm. the Russians have uh, a partnership, uh, and uh, overall uh, the the way that this country views Russia, it seems like a, a long throw from third, so to speak, uh, that you would begin to see a reset uh, between Russia and the United States. And that, uh, as you're saying, would be a greater concern. That would be the collision course that you would be concerned about. Uh, is a Russia and U.S. alliance even possible? Uh, in my view, no. I mean, uh, at, at the end of the day, I think you see uh, a number of, uh, of indicators that, that, that things are going in the opposite direction. Uh, you, you're certainly not going to see a bipartisan support for some kind of uh, renewed alliance. Uh, certainly that appears to be the case right now when you, when you look at the political uh, atmosphere in Washington. Uh, the, again, as, you, as I noted, the, the president's position on Iran uh, seems to be one of overall hostility. And of course, uh, the Iranians and the Russians have a partnership that I don't look, it doesn't appear to be um, uh, something that's breakable at this point, that the Russians are really all in uh, in Syria uh, with the Iranians. Mm -hmm. Then you look at, you know, for example, uh, McMaster at the National Security Council. You look at Mike Pompeo at the CIA. These are not pro-Russia individuals why are on we Trump's not hearing, team. Yeah, why are we not hearing more about that aspect of the Trump team versus all of these connections that we hear about? Look, I, I think right now what you're looking at is a mixed bag, and um, it, it could be that we're waiting to see where the center of gravity finally shifts. Uh, there are individuals that appear to have Russia ties within the Trump team. But does that mean that the, the Trump team is overall pro-Russia? I, I, again, I, I think that the, the story tells otherwise, but I think the president may ultimately have to make a decision about which way the team goes. And should a bipartisan uh, select committee be chosen to investigate this? Do you think that that would be the best avenue to take? Look, this is part of our democratic process, and the idea that we would uh, try to uncover what may have happened during the election, what kinds of connections uh, did exist before the election, I don't think that there's a problem in trying to discern that. I think there, you know, that, that ultimately, though, we need to be realistic about what Russia would try to gain from this and whether uh, this administration or this government more broadly would be able to deliver that for Russia. Again, right. my, my sense is that it's not possible. Thank you, John. Jonathan, appreciate you joining us.